Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. And behind me is our new build. I'm super excited about it. I always kind of wanted a Jeep, but couldn't pick one up. So we got the next best thing, a Ford Jeep. So check this thing out. I mean, it's kind of like a Jeep. The top should come off and it will be good to go. This thing is definitely pretty crazy. I even picked it up from Mississippi. It wasn't too bad loading it up, Ivan Wright. Yeah, they just put it on the trailer nice. and I left. That, that's pretty good. That's always nice and smooth and came back, all good. <laughs> it's kind of funny, on the way back, you found an article about this thing. It's pretty famous. It actually has a backstory to it. So surprisingly, these things actually roll a lot. And this one rolled five or six times. I was reading the article that it's pretty easy how they roll. I was like, dang. So pretty much all you have to do is type in Bronco rollover in Google. Yep. And this thing will pop up like picture number six or seven. Yeah, about five to six times, yet still looks like it's in pretty good shape. So let's find out. Let's let's see if that's true. This thing is still in pretty good shape. I know for sure it's gonna be a crazy transformation from before and after. Rolling five to six times, everything's kind of damaged. I think there's only like one good panel on that's you know not dented. That we can see. That we can see. So overall we see clearly there's a lot of damage all around from suspension to body panels to the roof. All around. From the wheels. I mean we have a lot of work ahead of ourselves but hey it's gonna be a great transformation. Also it was a rollover so who knows if the engine's good. Yeah I'm kind of worried about that because we paid a good bit. Stay tuned to the end we'll review the price but it was still a good chunk of change I would say. I think it was a good deal though. I think it was expensive but we'll see. I don't know like I said it does the transmission good, engine good, does the start. We don't know how many miles are on this thing. We know it's a, the four-cylinder EcoBoost 2.3, I think, right? Yeah, but we so, have the keys, two keys. That's good. We got keys, hopefully it's low miles. Hopefully it's not completely destroyed inside and out. Yeah, we don't know the miles, nothing like that. We don't know anything. Dang, but it's pretty bright out here. But hey guys, make sure you check out NicoBrothers.com. We got some new hats coming, so get yourself a hat. We're gonna try to get some more merch out there and some good goodies. That way you can support us and we can keep doing what we're doing. We can't do it without you guys, so appreciate all the support. Make sure you check that out. Let's go ahead and talk about the good. I mean, the face looks kind of okay. You can still tell it's a Bronco, so that's nice. We got this aftermarket bumper that they installed and looks like it's not damaged at all because it didn't front flip, it kind of barrel rolled. <laughs> so, well, that we know of. That we know of, who knows? We don't know where it happened. The owner didn't want to you know, specify, but it's all good. But that's a pretty sweet bumper, I would say. It's pretty nice. Put some money on there. You got an LED bar on there, so definitely the aggressive look. And, we're gonna keep going, right? I'm gonna make this thing look real mean. And we are not gonna keep this thing stocked. Nah. We're gonna hopefully, what, jack it up and hopefully, I mean, do something bigger We might as well. We might as well. It's like all the body panels are messed up anyway, so we're gonna see what we can do to make this thing look real beefy and mean. Well, pretty much we need to make a list of the bad, the good, and start ordering parts. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, I'm so moving right along. Still looking at the good parts. Like I said, bumper looks pretty solid. Our grill looks good. Check out this headlight. Still in one piece. It's pretty cool. This 2022 little Bronco logo on the headlight. I'd say it's a cool design. They did a good job with it, so that's neat. Looks pretty modern, I would say. Hood, not so good. Looks like it got damaged. I mean, makes sense after being rolling. We're kind of impressive that that didn't get damaged, but it did, so we got to find one of those. This side fender is destroyed, too. I it's got the say. quick connect uh, fenders. So flares. that's like, like the flares on and off kind of thing? Yeah, it looks like right here. I think you just turn this. Look at that, turn that. No way. That's pretty cool. And the Look flares. We're, we're fixing it already. Keep going, all the way. So just in case you want to take your flares off to get on something or? Well, so like you're going through the trails, it doesn't bottom out, I guess. Wow. Yeah, check that out. That came right off. So that's interesting. A quick disconnect for flares. Yeah. Is this tire good though? Is it wheel? Ed, wheel, maybe. It's got some scuffs and dents. Tire, not so much. Not yeah. so much, but suspension, upper control arm looks good. Um, lower control arm looks like it is broken. Dang, yeah, there's definitely axles Axle. popped out, just literally popped out of place. So hopefully the diff's good. This thing just probably, yeah. That's... We'll probably like roll, hit something, knock, knock, you know? But it looks so new, I mean, for sure. This is pretty crazy. I mean, 2022, right? Yeah, like I said, we don't know how many miles, but hopefully not that much. We'll but see. Let's keep going. So the spender we need for sure. Yep. We Suspension need a spindle. Suspension all around. We need a lower control arm, a yep. tire or a rim. Kind of moving Look at that on. mirror. The mirror's busted. Sheesh. 
aftermarket or do you think this aftermarket is lights on the thing that's not yeah. a big deal yeah that's but the glass bad. is good do you see the front glass is good yeah that is a really impressive so pretty tough i mean this thing's already been flipped five six times and the glass is still good so this is the windshield the front windshield well, yeah front windshield and the glass so the side glass is good this door looks good this is the only door i would say that kind of has no damage what no about damage. the running board running board's okay too right that's yeah, not bad it's good maybe does it open yeah, I think this door is okay. Oh, wow. So, look at that. We'll, we'll check out the interior so later. Let's keep going. Hopefully the frame's okay, because I mean, the, the gaps look fine, you know? Yeah, like I said, we'll check it out. There's definitely a lot of stuff in there, so we got to take all that out. Our back glass is busted, but... The top comes off, This so. is like a, yeah, removable top, so... What if we uh, fiberglass it in? Who needs windows back there? We'll just take it off and then we're done, you know? That way it's... We don't have to fix it? Yeah, just take it off. I think that'd be the easiest fix we could do on But that. this quarter panel looks like section bolts, so this... Uh, That's awesome, yeah. Hopefully just unbolt this off. thing. Wow. Who needs, who needs fender flares? We'll see what it looks like exposed. No fenders, quarter panel. And drive it like that? Drive it like that. Take the top off. We'll definitely need some suspension work before we drive it, but... It's gonna be fun. So, is this wheel good? Is this wheel's popped or? I think this wheel's bad too, honestly. Look at that shock thing. Dang, is that frame just supposed to be like that? I, I hope that's the style. Yeah, sure. And we'll take it all apart, so we'll see if it's got frame damage. I mean, maybe, it's a big if. Who well, knows? If anything, we'll fix the frame, right? Or yep. we'll swap it. Yeah, I'm sure it's a regular Bronco frame, you know, they have them everywhere, so just kidding. Who knows? So moving right on to the back, I mean, we can see that the taillight is smashed. Gotta get a new taillight. There's that Bronco logo again. Pretty sweet, looking good. The rear bumper aftermarket. This side looks good. Maybe a little bit of rust over there. We got a spare wheel. We're gonna need it. <laughs> We're gonna need a lot of them. So we'll see, might get upgraded wheels anyway, but. It'll go bigger, right? Yeah, this tire feels good though. Plenty of tread. Our plastic's already coming apart, but I'm sure, you know, it's supposed to come off anyway. It's meant for water, like a Jeep. I mean, Hopefully. Is the glass broken? Glass is definitely broken. I don't even see any glass. That's so weird. At least not, nothing to clean up. Yeah, it's kind of strange. You'd think there'd be pieces in glass and stuff. I don't know. We'll have to look into that. Oh, there is some glass right there. Ooh, at least we got a shock. Yep, we got a shock. We've got some wire harness stuff going on. And the bumper does look kind of messed up on this side. Sheesh. We can fix that. There's gonna be a lot of work here. Who knows? Yeah, cut it, weld it. It is after market. Yeah, I might get a new bumper. I might just try to fix that one. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe untape this thing. Let's see if there's any damage on the. Because this glass is actually good. Yeah. It's a Ford glass. So hopefully, we can order something. Looks like the top is messed up too, which makes sense. But maybe this thing opens. Maybe. Probably comes out or something, right? I'm not sure. Or maybe the glue came off? <laughs> maybe. There's something back there. I don't know. It's not breaking. Yeah. But this quarter panel looks horrible again, but we got to do a quick disconnect. Yep. And. Can't get this. Get a little higher. Yeah, I've never actually seen that before. Quick disconnect for the flares. Just in case. There she is. Oh, look at this frame. Wow. This frame looks like it hit something pretty good. Dang. Little little kinkle right there. Oh man. The axle is busted in half. Wow, our gas tank's right there. Yeah, we're gonna need a rear deck for sure. Sway bar's all bent out of shape. I mean, exhaust, almost like ripping off. So you're saying we need to buy more parts. There's gonna be a lot of parts. The shocks, I mean, the whole rear end. But good thing we bought this thing cheap. Uh, I mean, I guess it's still, still pretty expensive, I would say, but hey, you know, it is what it is. We'll make it look good. It's gonna be unique, it's gonna be one of a kind. It's already kind of famous. Articles written about it. Maybe there'll be another article, the restoration, bring it back to life. Ooh.
All right, guys, so check out this door. I mean, it's not bad, but there is some damage right here. But I say we try to save it, because I don't even know how much these doors are, and I feel like we already paid a lot for this thing. So try to save what we can, Ivan. That'd be good. But, I mean, it's going to be me doing the work. Yeah, so I think, I think you could do it. You could knock it out. You're like a body man magic guy. What so. if we have a Bronco with no doors? Maybe. Solve that problem. There you go. You don't have to make doors. Well, let's check out this interior. Do they come off though, these doors easy? Like a Jeep thing or? Well, I've know. seen aftermarket doors actually. Oh, wow. Well, they have a hole in it and everything. Dang. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, I like the interior. It's, it's pretty neat, I would say. Pretty simple, rugged looking. Definitely a lot going on there. Jeez. So we got airbags deployed. Yep. That's not a big deal. I mean, that's if that was our worst case, whatever. Seems like our driver wheel's okay though. Surprisingly, our wheel bag is not deployed. How about our dash bag? The dash looks good too. Woo! Well, that's good. Cause that would have been a pain in the butt. Well, let's, uh, what's in that red bag? I'm not sure, but it says thanks for coming in. So just this has been cleaned or serviced, or they got it straight from the dealership. I don't know. I don't know how many miles they put onto this thing. Oh, is it kind of tight? It's a little bit. We got our aftermarket lights. Sweet. So this whole top should just come off. Looks like it's got latches and stuff. It's cool. It's pretty cool. It's got aftermarket auxiliary switches though. That's nice. At least we got those. We could add on some stuff. This bag, I'm not sure. Plastic pieces. Maybe it's got the rest of the rear axle. Maybe, but like I said, we do have the two keys. You get a key and I get a key. Pretty basic, I would say. Lock, unlock, horn, no remote start, no top opening by itself, none of that. Right. Yes. It's, it's our uh, Ford. Yeah, it's our Ford. Let's pop the hood and check out the engine. Make sure that's okay. Yeah. Wow, guys, check out this engine, 2022. I mean, I still think there's potential to save this guy because this looks brand new. I mean, hopefully the oil's okay, so we'll check that out real quick. We have oil I mean, in the engine. What if it got into the intake manifold? Maybe. Looks, seems kind of low, Ivan. Have to, no, you gotta clean it and then dip it back wipe in. Wipe it again, but. I think before we started, we need to take off the spark plugs just in case. Yeah, it probably rolled, and the oil looks like it's kind of low too, so. We're gonna do a little bit of work before we start that, but it seems like the radiator support's okay and everything else over here. A I mean, little you think plastic we need a new pieces. engine or? Hopefully not. I mean, like I said, it looks brand new. <laughs> Hopefully the engine itself would be fine. But maybe let's get the jump box and put power to it, see how many miles we have at least to it. Yeah, we'll see if the inside works, the electronics and stuff, make sure the modules are good. But check out that little turbo back there. 2.3, four cylinder. So it should be light. I mean, you know, it's fun, well, hopefully compact. Hopefully we'll, you know, it depends on what we're gonna do to it though. Yeah. Big turbo. It looks like I got space for stuff. Supercharger? So maybe. Who knows? Leave some comments down below, guys. Our brake fluid's probably low because we're suspension. missing brakes. Yeah, yeah, that's all gone. But it looks like we got radiator fluid, right? Still, it's over there, the reservoir tank. That's it's pretty green. interesting. Yeah. So that's good. So let's go ahead and get a jump box, put some power to this thing, and check out the interior. All right. All right, guys, got power to it. Let's go ahead and go inside and check this thing out and check out the miles, and hopefully, it's not too much. Get some good news. Ugh. But first, let me check out that screen. That's a pretty cool screen. That's not bad. And then it's got a little badge right here. That's pretty cool. I like a little, little horse here. Got a little American flag right there. Oh, yeah. Let's see. All right, we got power. Look at that. How many miles? 4,982 miles. So that's, that's really good. good. That's really good. This thing is brand new. Pretty Deeping sweet. Deeping and everything. Man, our dash is kind of cracked right there. I don't know how that happened. I mean, there's a lot going on. Maybe something hit it, something fling out, but it's gonna be kind of rough to replace, but at the same time, it adds character. You know, it reminds you that this thing's been rolled and it had a crazy life, so who knows? We'll see, fix that or not. It's like those bullet holes people put in their cars, but we actually have bullet holes, you know? <laughs> yeah, but the back seat looks really good besides the glass, the roof thing. I mean, we just got what? Roof airbags, seat airbags? Yeah. Yeah, it's and not too bad. I'm happy the dash is okay, because that would be a pain. So these things just unclip, or? Yeah, right there. Right there. Let me turn the back right there, behind you. And there's another one right here. Yeah. No, right there behind you. This, this one's already loose. One. There we go. Yeah, it's like a panel. Oh, okay, look at that. It comes right off. Get some sunlight in here. There we go. Oh yeah, just convertible, just like that. Look at that, where are you fix some damage? So there's basically, what, three panels that it comes off and opens up. And you, go you got for, a Jeep, right? Yeah, you go for a cruise. 
So yeah, low miles, not too bad. I'm sure we're gonna have to start it later once we take this you know, engine apart a little bit, the spark plug. So we checked the inside out. I'm happy that they're turned on and low miles. Hey, that's definitely a pro. Really happy with how that turned out, but we're cleaning it out and it actually had some rough country seat covers on there. This feels definitely pretty durable. I didn't know rough country had seat covers. I know they have awesome lift kits and things like that, but it seems like this was on there and it blew the airbag with it. So it was designed to deploy the airbag. So it worked out pretty good. looks like bulletproof armor, but it's pretty sweet. We're gonna definitely check it out and hopefully get a lift kit for this thing because we definitely need a lot of suspension parts. And usually people lift their stuff. There's a lot of leftover parts. We just need those parts. So we're gonna check out rough I mean, country. I, I think a little like a five, eight inch lift on this thing would look let's go good. As, let's go as high as we can, might Poss as well. Possibly need some 40s. Sheesh. That'd be so, I mean, we, we can't have a stock Jeep. So, well, guys, we definitely have a lot of work ahead of us, but hey, we're not gonna make this thing stop. We want it to stand out, be one of a kind and unique, and get rebuilt by the Nico Brothers, so. So pretty much color swap. That's what no, you're telling me. No, no, we're not going yellow, Ivan. Mean, I know you want to go yellow and hey, wear your hey, flip flops hey, and just. <laughs> but if the audience wants yellow, we're going yellow. So leave right, a comment guys. down below. Oh, Ivan, geez. yellow paint, that'd be perfect. Team Mike, no yellow. I like the color. It's kind of cool. Gray, gunmetal. If so. you want to like not stand out, if you want to hide. No, even if we go tall, get some wheels on us, a lift kit, maybe a body kit or something like that, might as well. It's going to look really good. Maybe like the red truck. No, so. it has to be bigger than the red truck. Yeah, that'd be cool. This that'd be pretty sweet. You getting towed by the red truck? Sheesh. Because we got to go off-roading, Michael. I mean, we have a lot of off-roading trails here. We got a lot of stuff we can do, you know. Yeah. And our buddies have Jeeps. Look, there's a Jeep right next to you, Michael. There we go. So we got, we got, you know, we got a Can-Am. We got to go off-roading. We got to do something with this thing. That would be a lot of fun, but not anytime soon, because like I said, there's, there's plenty lot, of work to do. A lot of parts we got to order. A lot of stuff to order. A lot of stuff, even to get this off the trailer. Our fork goes down right now, so it's not going anywhere for a little bit. But hey, we have a shopping cart to do. We know what we need. We know the good, we know the bad, and let's make it custom. But make sure you check out NicoBrothers.com. Check out the merch, check out the hats. Hopefully we'll get some new merch coming to you soon. Leave some comments down below what you want us to do, how to modify it, what to do with it, or should we leave it stock? I really don't want to do that. I don't know, but hey. It's if, not gonna happen, Michael. I know, right? Since we're going at it anyways, we're tearing it down. We might as well build it up different. But thanks guys for all your support. We're super excited about this build. Make sure to turn on the notification bell. Make sure to subscribe, guys. We appreciate all the support. Can't do it without you. Catch you next time.